Okay, welcome to Let's Draw today. Uh, this is the Stuart Foley Dreadnought Project, number 13. And I've done a few things different with this picture. To I'm using a different picture. Let's put, let's get this one. And center that in, okay. Okay, what I want to do, I got this object selected, which is the disc. You remember last time, it was quite a while back, but I was working on this, uh, I was working on this, uh, yeah, I was working on the uh, primary hull, basically of the Constitution class. Uh, ship, but I've matched it up with a different photo here. I kind of like this photo, so I got it matched up on the side here. Oh, why is that so low down there? Hmm. All oh, because it wasn't on top. Okay, so, so we also want to match it here, but I think the problem with matching is it here, here is it's going to stick it on the side there. So we're going to leave that alone even though it's down that far. Uh, okay. So we need to deselect deselect this. Actually I think we do want to go to the side though because we're going to go to edit mode. And we're going to go Z, and we're going to box this puppy in here. Box. Okay. And then we're going to go 7. And what we're going to do here is... Uh, we're going to... And then we're going to get scale. And we're going to bring it in about there. We're going to go back to one. Whoa. Okay. And it's going to scale this stuff down because of the end. Uh, okay, we're going to grab it to the Z. And we're going to bring this. Uh, up a little bit, actually, no. Let's look at it at 7 again, from the top. Uh, we're going to scale it, and we're going to bring it a little more in, because there was about that much deck. Yeah, give or take, there was about that much. Now that's interesting, these big lights, these big square lights, whatever they are on top, they're not exactly proportional. Okay, let's go back to the uh, one, and of course it brought it down again. And we're going to grab it to the Z. I don't know exactly how to tell the cursor to go to the center of an object. I need to learn how to do that. And then I could actually put it in the center of this object here, and then that would scale it. I don't want to scale it. This isn't too bad, though. I, I know how to do this. But uh, what I'm wanting to do, because we know we know that the Enterprise and the, or the Constitution class saucer section, we've seen the little. Uh, Pictures of where it basically it comes, it comes like this, and then it curves up, and then it uh, curves back down. So what we'll do is we'll scale this again. 
Actually, we'll extrude it and then scale it again, and we're going to bring it in about there. And we're going to go to the side. And again, every time I scale this, it's going to bring it down. Okay, so we're going to grab it to the Z. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up just a little bit. And then we're going to go 7. And we're going to extrude scale. Bring it in a little bit. Go back to 1. And grab it from the Z. And we're going to go up just a little bit higher. Now what we're wanting to do on this... Uh, the sense is Z this in, or even maybe object mode. I'm working on putting that little. Uh, I'm working on putting that little up cut there, and then we're going to bring it back down. So we'll go back to one. We'll go back to Z. Okay, and we'll. Go back to edit mode. Okay, so we'll go back to seven. Okay, we're going to extrude it, scale, bring it about there, and we're going to go back to one. And I know this is kind of hard for you to see, especially with this picture on top of it. If I bring it in, you can see it a little bit more. And we're going to grab it to the Z and we're going to come up. And we're going to go right about, right about there. And I think we're going to do about one more, about one more little rise and then we're going to start angling it back down. Let's go seven again and let's go. Let's go. Extrude scale. And I don't want it too much, just a little bit there. Okay, let's go back to one. Okay, let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up just a little bit. Okay. And now, I think, I think that's about where we want the, uh, I think that's about where we want that slope. And actually what I should do, we'll save this file, save as, and we're saving this as 12A now, because I'm kind of guessing this, and, uh, I could actually bring the picture in that kind of shows that slope. But I think I'm pretty close on it. And maybe one more rise. Okay, let's go to seven. Let's go. And this time I could actually go here. I could go extrude scale. And I can control it by making it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go back to one. Let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up. Yeah. Right about there, I think. Because that's almost to the... Uh... Actually, I don't like the way they do the windows on this, uh, on this illustration because I think they're kind of wrong. I was looking at the decks and the, those uh, the, the the bottom windows is like too high compared to the next windows up because there was two decks on this floor and then and these decks were ten feet tall so the uh, where they got the windows in this isn't quite right 
They might have had them like that on a model. I'm not sure, but they're not really white. Right. I don't know if you can see them in the blueprints or not, but they definitely, uh, the ones that are top deck should be a little higher. The one on the bottom, I think, should be just a hair lower. Okay, let's go back to seven. And let's extrude and scale. And let's bring another line out to about here. And then let's go one. And let's go grab it on the Z. And let's, let's bring this up. And this is just going to be uh, ever slow. Yeah, I'll just, just, I mean, it's just a hair above that because now we're going to start sloping back down. And you'll see how that'll work out. By the time we slope it back down, we should be coming uh, down into this dip area here. And we'll form this, we'll actually form the bottom of this uh, hull. I think it's easier to do the bottom first and then I, from the top I can work from the top. Okay, uh, seven again. Sorry, I'm breathing into the mic. Okay, let's do this again. Let's go extrude scale. Let's bring another ring out. And then let's go one. And of course on this one, we're going to grab it C and we're going to go up. And we're actually going to have that just... Just a hair below that line. Like there. Go back to seven. Extrude scale. Let's bring another ring out about that far. Let's go to one. Let's grab it to the Z and let's go. Just a you can tell because you can see that line on the other side there where it comes up, the very last line. So you can tell where it's level. Basically, and you can bring it down just, just a little bit. Because this, this side's going to fall more gradual, like, as we go out here. You can kind of see if I hit Z, you can kind of see how. I sloped it up, now I'm sloping it down. If I go into object mode. And actually, I already got it in smooth, so it's already smoothed out. Like I said, what's really cool is I UV map this too. I can actually, uh, you can kind of see it on that drawing. You can kind of see where he faintly has the, uh, uh, not so much on the top, which is kind of surprising because... Uh, in different episodes of Star Trek, and actually most episodes of Star Trek where you see the ship in the original series, I don't think you see lines on top of that ship, but the model had lines on it, because I know a lot of people built that model and they actually sanded those lines off. But in uh, like digital re-enhancements and stuff, they actually kind of put little plate lines on there to make it look more like it was less of a toy and more of a uh, ship model kind of a thing. Now this is interesting too because you can see this on the neck back here. It's intersecting the neck. Let's go back into object or edit mode. And then let's go back to Z. Let's go from the top again. And let's extrude the scale. Let's make another line out here just about that far. See, and I'm they're not exact, but I'm getting pretty pretty close to Pretty close to being where I want them. Okay, let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up. And let's put it just a... Let's put just a hair down angle on it. And... Seven. And every once in a while it's good to, to come up here and save this. Save as. Yeah, this this is kind of cool because, like I said, I was kind of surprised at how uh, how much bigger the uh, dreadnought uh, primary saucer was compared to this. It's actually bigger, but I, I actually like the way this is looking on this ship. 
it actually looks pretty small, but it, it but it gives you the idea of how big this hull is, being a uh, being a large shuttle. Uh, you know that 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 the entire top part of the secondary hull is a shuttle bay. The entire length of this ship. Okay, let's go back to seven. Let's control over. Let's get down here again. Let's. Let's go extrude and scale ES and then come out. I said just about the same amount of distance there, which is about there. Set the one. And then see if I zoom in here, I can really see my lines on here. Okay, let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up. And let's just give it about like that. Because we're wanting to go down real gradual like so we're actually going to slope that line Because we're going to run into that We're going to run into where it more or less flattens out and it actually flattened out before it started sweeping down So that's not really a problem Let's go here ES Bring out another line Out there, let's go one Let's grab a Z, let's bring it up. Let's go right about. Let's go right about there. And. Yeah, I like, I like how, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of dead reckoning in it, but, but I'm, I'm liking the way it's looking. Let's go seven again. Let's. Yes, let's bring another line out here. Right about there. A little more. There. Okay, let's go one. Let's grab that puppy and go Z and let's bring it down to about there. Yeah, now because I'm almost down to where we have this sweep into the hole. But yet we have, we're going to come down and we're going to flatten it out a little bit. And then we're going to, we're going to bring it, we're going to bring it in. Now it's really interesting if you look at the bottom of this too on the original series. Uh, see now there, they're actually showing those uh, like plate lines. Like I said, you can see them just barely, but you can see the plate lines. And they also have these three, these three big circle rings. It's really interesting. And I almost, doing the bottom, what I almost should do is from the top here, I, I should almost uh, I should select A and then go into object mode, object mode. And I should actually grab this picture here. Oopsie, and then go Z. And then I should grab the, I should grab grab this picture, which would be G. Oops. G to the Y, and then I should uh, actually line it up like this. Is what I should do with it. And the reason for that is that when I get these rings. When I get these rings to those rings, I could actually physically kind of like model those rings in there because those rings are kind of. Now this is this is kind of funny because if you notice this picture, this bottom shot of this ship is actually just ever so slightly out of scale with the top view. And I don't again I don't know what uh, actual program they use to uh, uh, draw this but anyway let's go back to edit whoops we can't because I got to deselect that because it's a picture let's hit A and I need to click on this again let's go back to edit mode and if you notice I've uh, 
lost my inner line, but I also got to do basically is go line mode, and then I can go, I think, alt. I can select this line right here. And then I have the whole line again, and I can go back to vertice mode, and I can go back to Z again. And this is kind of interesting too, it shows the neck. The neck's slightly different in this picture than it was. This is an interesting view here. You can see this neck is slightly different in this picture than it is in the uh, in the other di diagram I was using. It shows it like different consistency. So I could either change it around, which I actually don't plan on doing, or I could just uh, basically leave it be. I could make it a little bigger. Uh, I could change the angles. But I think what I'm going to do here is uh, go back to 7. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to carry on. We're going to go E and S. We're going to bring another line out here. That right there. I'm going to go to one. Whoopsie. And I lost my... Uh... Okay. And we're going to grab that on the Z. And we're going to bring it up. And see, one thing we could actually do here, which I might have to do, is I might actually have to alter this curve here. Or, yeah, I actually think I grabbed a Z. I'm going to have to bring this up higher. And by bringing it up higher, because where I want it to come down at. I might have I might have to actually uh, I might actually have to alter this curve line which I can actually go back later. I can just pick these rings one at a time and come sideways and then uh, alter my ring line here. Alright, let's go to 7. Let's Go extract scale. Let's bring another one out to about here. Maybe a little bit further this time. Let's go one, which brought it way down here, and we'll grab this on the Z and we'll bring this up. And wire like that, that's a little better. Okay, now one thing I also want to do. Yeah, see I'm changing my slope line a little bit, so I'm going to have to raise some of these other ones up in between, which I do this on ship hulls a lot, actually, like I over-angle something and then I have to adjust it, and let's go 7. Now see, we're still not quite to this uh, ring yet, because I think this ring is more or less where it starts to slope down, and I, I might have to actually, with modeling this, don't, this uh, saucer, I might actually have to go back to the neck and then and uh, change the dimensions slightly on the neck, just the angles on it, so that it works with this uh, primary hole here. Let's look back at one. Okay, let's go back to seven. Let's go. Let's go extract scale, and let's actually come. I'm going to try something here. Actually, going to come right to the edge of that puppy right there. Okay. And then let's go one. It's going to say it's going to be way the heck down there. And let's grab it to the Z. And let's. Okay. Let's go G and then Z. G 
should see the blue line. Let's bring it up. Now see, this is funny because this is the ring on here, but this ring, I'm thinking that this ring is more or less, yeah, this ring should be give or take. Grab to the Z. That ring should be right basically at the bottom of that. Those lines those lines should mate. We're pretty close. If I just zoom all the way in, because what I want to do and I'm actually too high. Grab Z. I want to bring that down. I'll come closer. Okay. Let's grab it. Z. Bring it just a smidgen up. Whoops. Oh, I think we got two lines there. I messed it up, and I right-clicked it and brought it right back. So that's what I call eyeball close. But, like I said, if you noticed, what that did with this is it really put like a double, let's put the Z in here, put a double, double warping of that whole mess there, so. But that's where they start showing that and then if you go to one you notice it actually slopes pretty pretty extreme after that so let's go back to Z let's open this up let's select A and then what we want to do want to go Z we want to uh, work at this this one here let's go let's go to lines and let's, let's go Let's pick that ring. Let's go to one. Let's go Z. And let's grab to the Z. Let's come up a little bit. And actually, because we can actually look at this at different angles. That that kinda that almost fixed it. Let's go to this line. Let's go Alt. This line, and let's go one, and then let's go Z. And let's grab that to the Z a little bit. Let's bring that up. Okay. Which kind of just changed our whole line. A. Let's take this one we just grabbed. Alt. Let's go to one. Let's go to Z. And let's grab this to the Z. Let's bring this up just a little bit. And that actually isn't too awful bad. I think. Let's go to object mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too... That took most of the distortion out of it, just changing those few little lines around. Sometimes you got to change a whole line, whole line around, and it's, it can really be a pain in the tickets. Okay, let's go to one. Now what I was talking about is... Uh, yeah, we'll do the neck later. Probably wants to jump on that neck, but I ain't going to jump on that neck right now. So I need to go back to edit mode. I need to file save. Okay, I need to alt grab this outer ring line again. We need to go to vertex Z. Let's go to seven. Now what what I was wanting to do here. wanting to do here is come down 
And actually, I think what I want to do is instead of actually trying to model these little dips in here, I could, uh, well, what I could do is I can go extrude scale and I could actually come about there, go one, and I can grab it to the Z and I could actually go like this. Can actually bring it up. Go back to seven. And I could go uh extrude scale and bring it to about there. And I go back to one. Okay. And I can grab it to the Z. And I could actually I could actually bring it just a hair lower, not too much. Okay, go back to seven and then extrude scale. I could actually bring it to that line about there. Almost the same as the inner line. Okay. If you notice, it's pretty small, but the one. Okay, now what I want to do with this one is. Grab it Z and I want to bring it just almost flush again. Maybe just a little under the line. Because we're starting to do our curve and what that did was I actually put that little dip line in there even though it, uh, what the heck? Oh okay, I know why. Because we're looking at the picture. So I actually put this line in here like we go to edit mo object mode. You can't see it, but I can shade it in there too. I actually put that little line, that uh, seam in there. So that if I put that seam line in there, and then I put these other two seam lines in there, and I kind of shade, I shade a darker shade of gray or a lighter shade of gray in there, then you'll actually, I'll actually have a reference for that. I'll actually have that little line. Like you can't kind of see it now, but uh, when I start texturing that, or even if I UV map it, I'll have a reference where I can UV map in. Uh, kind of like that picture on there, and then I'll, I'll have that same. Okay, let's go back. Let's go edit mode. Let's go Z. Okay, and now I'm going to try something here. We'll see if it works or not. If not, then I can always back it up a little bit. Let's go extrude scale, and that's actually run down to this next line here. And that looks just about like that. And let's go one, which it'll be way down there. Now what's cool is on this one, you can actually see that line. Now see what I'm not liking is once again the uh, side picture is not totally jiving at all. Well it is but it isn't. But it does if I bring it high enough. Like you can kind of see that line. You can kind of see that line in the in the uh, in the dome there. Uh, the only other thing I could do is I could raise. Let's see, right here. Which would be that outer ring. Okay. So if I actually. Uh, let's see. Let's go to line mode. Alt. Okay, one. Which again, I can raise some of this stuff, but as I raise it, it's going to. Grab Z. It's going to. It's going to change this whole ship dimension. I'm going to have to 
raise about five lines, I think, here. Let's go this one. Let's go one. Let's grab it Z. Let's bring it up a little bit. And go A. Let's see. And let's grab this one. Let's go one. Or is that the one I just did? That is just the one I just did. Okay, so let's grab this one. Let's go one. Grab Z. Let's bring it up just a little bit. There we go. Let's come back here. Let's grab this one. Alt. Let's go one. Let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up a little bit. There we go. As you notice, we're, we're kind of like changing that slope. Let's go Alt. Okay, let's go one. Let's grab it. See, let's bring it up a little bit. And another way you could kind of do this is you could actually kind of, you could actually just, uh, it's kind of harder, but you can, let's see, let's alt that line. Grab it, see, we could actually do it like this. The problem with this is a little bit, it doesn't really show you your true grab Z, it doesn't really show you your true angles, alt. But I have, I have grab Z. I have done this three dimensionally before a little bit, and sometimes it is kind of a, you can, you can wiggle it around and look at it and, you know, tell, tell a little bit. You get to looking at it, you can kind of see what's lower. Grab Z, let's go up a little bit. Let's see. Grab Z, come up a little bit. Check that. And then you can also pop into edit mode right quick. Object mode, and then sometimes you can kind of see the distortions in object mode. Okay, now that looks a little bit closer that way. So I'm kind of happy with that. We got we're down to our second ring, and then if you look from the side, that matches our that matches our side profile a little bit better. It goes Z again, and then the only thing I don't like a little bit is uh, this slope still looks a little lumpy. Right here, let's go Z. Let's just go to edit mode. And actually, we're selecting, let's grab it Z a little bit, bring it up. And grab it Z, let's bring it up a little bit. Let's go to one. Uh, see, and I can zoom in here. See how lumpy this thing is? Let's grab that. Let's go back a little bit down. That's a little better. Okay. That looks like a more natural slope kind of, even though it's still, I still have a few. This one here. Let's go back to one. That's... Grab this to the Z. That's just come up just a hair. Which makes the next one in line. Actually, the next one in line is where our dip is. So, uh, let's see. So, that still would have to come up just a tad. Grab Z. Let's bring it up a tad. Get that slope a little more uh, levelified. 
without messing the front ones up so I don't have to sit there and run five more up again. I think that's about got it. Okay, let's take it out. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Z. Object mode. Let's go Z. Okay, yeah, I think. Let's go on. Yeah, I like the way it looks. I think we're, we're pretty close now. I was just had the angles wrong. And so now it looks more like I said, once I change that neck angle a little bit, which I'm kind of. Kind of worried, because if I remember right, when I was building the ships, your neck more or less came up to the bottom of that. I don't think it went. Uh, they make it look almost on the side of the ship like it goes up into the like the back, and I really don't think it did. It was more, more or less, uh, even on this back view over here, I suppose. Hey, is it 3 or Control 3? Control 3. Oh, no. Let's go 1. Because I don't have one of the pictures. Okay, so if we look at the back here. See, even the back, it looks like it on this. They have it where it's kind of crawling into the back part of that. And I really don't think it did that on the models. I don't know. I might have to watch some of the original episodes. But I don't really think that, uh, I don't think that crawled into the back of that saucer like that. I'm pretty sure it just held it underneath it. Okay, so anyways, let's get back to this drawing process. Uh, let's save it right there. Save as. We'll keep it as 12. Let's go back into edit mode. Let's go. We're in lines. Let's select this line again, this outer edge. Okay, let's go back to verts. Because I like the way verts look better when you're doing this stuff and again we're going to now this this dip doesn't look as wide as the other one did okay and I can again I can Z this make it more or less invisible let's extrude scale let's just go here let's make this one a little smaller let's go one and again, we shifted down, so I'm going to have to come down this way. And on this one, since we're starting to go at an angle, we're going to go grab and Z, and we're going to grab it up. We're going to inset it a little bit. And we're going to go to 7, and then we're going to go extrude scale, and we're going to bring it a little wider there. Don't like that. We're going to go back to 1. And we're going to grab that to the Z. We're going to come up. And we're going to give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Like just above that line. And we're going to go extrude scale. We're going to come to the outer edge of that. Right there. We're going to go one. Okay, and we're going to grab it to the Z. And we're going to bring it like this. Okay, and again, if you notice, like I said, if I Z, uh, I got my little kind of like pit there and pit there. One other thing I could do with this actually is I could actually probably leave those flat in there and have everything else smooth, and it will make the shading to where you can, you know, like if you look straight from the bottom, that you can see those. And like I said, between between coloring those just a little bit different even just for reference and then once I UV map them uh, I can I can put those I can actually put those ridges in here which will be cool okay let's go seven Z again okay let's extrude scale let's come down to that next ridge which is right there basically and let's go to one and Let's grab it to the Z. Let's come bring it up. Now this is kind of funny because you notice like I'm kind of like matching that ridge. And let's see. Let's grab it to the Z a little bit. Let's go a little too high. Let's come down here right about there. Let's Z it. 
Oh yeah, it, it's. We almost got the bottom of this. I might. I, I'll probably just do the bottom of this. I'll finish the bottom of this, and this will be a video. This will be number thirteen, and then when I come back in fourteen, we will uh, work on the top of this. But I like where this is going now. Okay, let's go seven. Now, I've been doing this transparent, but I can also what I can do is uh, extrude scale. Bring it out about that much. Like I did, I can look on the back of the other one. Okay, let's go one. Now I want this one transparent because grab it, see, because I want to bring it up. I want to bring it up into the saucer, like kind of like that. Okay, let's go back to seven. Let's go extrude scale. Let's bring this out. This will be our wide, more or less our wide one. Okay, let's go back to one. Let's grab this to the Z. Let's go on up. And you want this just kind of angled down here. Let's go back to seven. Extrude scale. Right about there. Let's go back to one. Let's grab it to the Z, and we're going to bring this one up just about uh, about there. And again, we hit the Z. We got another ring track there. They're not identical, but they're you know, like I said, uh, they're pretty. pretty uh, And let's go back to seven, and let's go. Now, one of the things we want to do here is, you see how this curves down? So, let's go up here. We're going to do the same thing, like we're going to go extrude scale, and we're going to come a little ways in here. We're not going to come super. We want to kind of go back into the smaller rings one. Okay, grab it to the Z, and we're going to bring it up. And see, I brought it too high, and I can just bring it back down a hair. That's kind of interesting, because we could actually bring it just about. Here, I'll show you. We'll Z it. We can bring it down, grab it to the Z. Bring it down just about to the bottom of those windows. Which again, like I said, sometimes it's kind of good to have reference lines there. So if you're wanting to put the windows on the ship and you know they run along that line, then it's easy. If you're, if, especially if I'm going to uh, UV map this thing. Okay, let's go back to seven. Let's go. Uh, extrude scale, let's come back in about this much, give or take. And let's go to one, and of course let's grab it to the Z. Let's zoom in a little bit. Grab it to the Z. And this shape is kind of a round shape, but yet it, uh, when we get down here, we got this curve. This curve's kind of what I'm worried about. And then the bottom is kind of almost a, uh, like if we look at the front, it's almost, it's almost a flat perfectly flat and then it starts curving again so but you can see the curvature of that uh, thing so let's go back to seven scale extrude I hope whoops extrude scale how about that how about I'm doing it backwards okay again right about there let's go to one Let's grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up until we get it pretty close. Let's see. Let's bring it up just a tad. We'll grab it Z. 
Okay. And now we're starting to hit this curve. So what we want to do at this point is we're going to we're going to actually start going extrude scale, and we're going to just go a little ways, which stinks because it's going to put a lot of dots in this thing. But uh, like we're already at uh, we're already at. Uh, One thousand. Uh, yeah, we got one. We got three thousand edges. Nine thousand. We got one thousand nine hundred twenty faces, and we got one thousand nine hundred eighty verts. That actually isn't too bad for this model. Grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up. Okay, let's get it there. And. Back to the seven. Uh, extrude scale. Let's whoopsie, it went the wrong way. Let's come back in this way a little bit. Let's come down further so I can control it. Scale. Okay, let's go one. And let's shift this up a little bit. So when I get to this angle, I can see better. Let's grab it to the Z and let's bring it up. Let's put, now see, this is where we're going to actually start pulling it in a little bit. Because we got a curve there. Okay, go back to seven. And again, what's making me irritated a little bit is I have a sneaking hunch that, uh, and actually it kind of don't show it from the bottom. It does, but it don't. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Hopefully that that, that kind of matches up or I'm going to have to balance between them. Yeah, okay, let's go extrude scale. Let's come out just a little bit again. That right there. Let's go one. Let's grab this to the Z. Let's come up. Let's zoom in more. Let's grab it to the Z. And we're going to go actually just even a hair more than what we did last time. So that we can start getting this uh, little round shape here. Okay, let's hit on the Z. Yeah, I like it so far. It's looking like it's kind of falling into place. Let's go back to the 7. Extrude scale. Let's bring it out. Uh, let's not go quite as f now we'll try it if it's too big i can bring it back in right there let's go to one let's grab it z let's see and a little bit more see that's almost that's almost got it to where we're down to the we're almost down to the dome on this part but on this part we still got a lot of ways to go, so let's try this. Let's go extrude scale. Let's go to this dome, which is right. Oopsie. And I just oh, what I want to do is hit S because I already got both lines there. If I would have hit extrude again, it would have made a mess. It would have made double vertices. So let's come right to, for all intents and purposes, shading is give or take about here. And let's go to one, and then it's going to be way the hell down there. Let's grab it, Z, and let's bring it up. Okay. And let's center this a little bit. If you notice, it looks like, grab it, Z, it looks like where we're at on this thing is pretty much... And I don't think we're dead centered. We're pretty close. But we're actually just a hair off. So I'm going to have to kind of guess it a little bit. Okay, so let's go extrude scale. And let's go in by that much. 
Let's go on. And let's grab it to the Z. And yeah, if you notice on, on the top, we're doing pretty good. On the side, the way they got it drawn is kind of goofy. So what I want to do here, I actually want to match these lines. Grab it to the Z. And we're going to match these lines here. And we're going to come to the microscopic. So we're actually going to put this line. We're going to grab it to the Z. And we're going to bring this line right over this black one right here. Okay. And I'll show you how that'll work. Okay, now we're going to extrude. And we're going to come straight down. Oops, we're going to extrude to the Z. We're going to come straight down here. And let's look at that. Let's look at it in object mode. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. See, and you can see the little three ring thingy there. Yeah. Okay. Let's go one. And let's look at seven. Back to one. Okay, let's go back to seven. Let's go back to edit mode. Let's save it right quick. File, save as. And let's make this a 12B. Oh, and we're on 56 minutes. Uh, I never noticed that little clock up there. That's pretty cool. That would help me a lot. Okay, so this is almost an hour long, so I'm going to uh, close this here, and I will see you in the next episode. We'll continue on, and we'll finish this bottom of this and probably start on the top. I want to thank you for watching. If you like, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you got criticisms, let me know. If you think I'm doing something hard and you know a lot about Blender, you can give me some suggestions, and I might take gip on it and i also might just be like yeah i like to do it my own way so thank you very much we'll see you in the next episode which will be number 14.